Now this post got a lot of attention on Facebook and in spite of the junior high graphics, you might even understand. Yellowstone rises and cracks after the great Mount St. Helens earthquake. Scientists on edge. In the early hours just before dawn, a powerful magnitude 6.8 earthquake struck deep beneath Mount St. Helens in Washington state. What at first seemed like a localized seismic jolt quickly spiraled into something no scientist expected. Yellowstone National Park, over 800 miles away, began to rupture and lift. Within an hour of the quake, monitoring stations at Yellowstone lit up with frantic alerts. GPS beacons that normally record tiny millimeter scale motions suddenly reported rapid uplift, 20 to 30 centimeters of vertical rise in just one morning. Even more unnerving were the cracks. Fresh fractures tore across meadows, forest floors, and lakeshore sediment some stretching for hundreds of meters. A fractured landscape emerges by sunrise. Park rangers scrambling across the Norris and Hayden Valley regions reported, long, splitting cracks slicing through grassy plains and lodgepole pine forests. Steam venting through the new fractures, carrying the scent of sulfur. Sections of boardwalk near geyser basins, tilting and buckling as the ground rose. Yellowstone Lake's shoreline lifting unevenly, tilting docks and straining boat ramps. A hiker near Mud Volcano, claiming they heard a thunderclap underground before the earth split nearby. Aerial drones confirmed what scientists feared. The land inside the ancient Yellowstone caldera was lifting like a swollen bubble. Impossible. Or already in motion? At the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, volcanologists were stunned, but cautious. Dr. Elena Hartman, a deformation specialist, admitted we always knew the magma body beneath Yellowstone was active, but this speed of uplift, linked so closely to a distant earthquake, was not something we've ever recorded. Seismic waves from Mount St. Helens had swept across the crust, and although the volcano systems are not connected underground, the quake may have disturbed a pressurized region already close to shifting. One researcher compared the effect to tapping the lid of a boiling pot. Hydrothermal system goes haywire. Minutes after the land began rising, geyser basins across the park responded violently. Steamboat geyser, normally unpredictable, erupted twice in the same day. Old Faithful was 30 minutes late, then blasted water twice its usual height. Pools at Mammoth Hot Springs drained partially, only to refill with boiling water from new cracks. Steam vents roared like jet engines in the upper geyser basin. Small hydrothermal. Explosions left fresh craters near the fire hole. River Geologists noted that cracks gave superheated water and gases new escape pathways, releasing pressure, but also exposing near-surface rock to violent flashes of steam. Satellites. Confirm, the caldera is inflating. NASA INSAR. Satellite images released the next morning confirmed the ground around the caldera had bulged upward over a 35-mile wide area, with the center rising fastest. 
One basin recorded uplift nearly 40 centimeters, an astonishing figure for less than 24 hours of movement. USGS scientists emphasized this doesn't mean an eruption is imminent, but it does mean pressure and fluids have shifted rapidly. Is this the start of a new uplift phase? Yellowstone has experienced inflation and subsidence phases for decades. 2004-2010, uplift, up to 7 thermometers per year. 2014 sudden slowdown, ground sank instead. Ongoing 2020s unrest, minor swarms and small lifts, But never has the park experienced rapid cracking and uplift immediately linked to a major tectonic quake elsewhere. Some researchers now propose the mount. St. Helens quake acted as a dynamic trigger, shaking loose trapped magma or hydrothermal fluids that were already pressurizing the crust. Scientists speak out Dr. Marco Alvarez, a crustal stress modeler, explained. Even if volcanic systems are not directly connected, the crust transmits stress. If Yellowstone was primed, already building pressure, this quake may have tipped it into motion. Others urge caution. Dr. Kelsey Lynn, hydrothermal expert said, this isn't a countdown to doom, but it is the most significant deformation we've seen in years, and it's changing by the hour. Hazards and closures. Park officials issued emergency restrictions. Areas near Yellowstone Lake, Norris and Hayden Valley closed to visitors. Trails near crack zones fenced off. US-191 and sections of Grand Loop Road monitored for buckling. Geyser basins under live drone surveillance. Engineers warn larger cracks could shear through roads, power lines, or park infrastructure if uplift continues. Could this lead to an eruption? Scientists stress three key facts. No magma is rising toward the surface. Earthquakes near the caldera remain small. Gas emissions, while elevated, aren't volcanic in volume, 